Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on filtering API response based on the user selection option from the drop down. Okay, and we added the bootstrap closable alert or dismissible alert when there are no question exist with a matching tag. But there is an issue with the closable alert. So let's see what was the issue. So switch to the browser and select an option from the drop down for which we do not have a question exist in the database. For example, let's select either Bootstrap or JavaScript. Okay, so we tested yesterday that uh, Ruby, Rails, and React all these tags have some question, and we do not have any question for Bootstrap and JavaScript. Okay, for example, now if you click on the Bootstrap JavaScript, JavaScript, then there are no question, and we are seeing the alert. Okay, but now if you click on, if you close this alert, okay, and then you load, let's say all. Okay, you will see there is nothing appearing in the screen. If you inspect the page now, okay, you will see there is an error in the console tab. What error we can see here that uh, uncaught DOM exception failed to execute remove child or node. The node to be removed is not a child of this node. Okay, and the above error occurred in the empty question message component. Okay, now we need to think that why this happened because when you click the alert this will remove the entire piece of alert code okay and the empty question message component did not have any existing element in the dom but from the react virtual dom point of view its root div is still exist okay and the root div of empty question message is the div of the question list component which is which is the div class name call lg 10 mx auto let me show you so first refresh the page okay and uh, let's click on the inspect element Okay, so here you can see that this is the root element and inside both the components question details and the empty alert message is showing. Okay, now let's check this bootstrap. Okay, so we see this element, this alert element is right after the select box. Okay, and if you close this alert, then you will see that this element is disappear and no root element for that, but uh, virtually, but uh, this call lg10 mx auto is still there okay so we need to handle this case in a way that when user close the alert its own root div must be exist in the dom so we need to wrap this empty question message component into an additional div element okay so switch to the project directory okay and here you can see that this is our empty question message element so what we need to do here we need to do add an additional div here okay so do and uh, let's uh, correct the indentation at here close the initial view okay so now if you close this view and refresh your browser okay so let's refresh this again and now when we click on the bootstrap okay so we see this alert okay now when i close this and now again i select the let's say ruby then it is working and the error disappears from the dom or we are not seeing any error now if i click on the javascript i can again see the alert and if i close this and if i select any of the let's say all i selected then i cannot see the error anymore and it is working fine now okay now let's see how it is resolved so just come to the elements okay and here you can see that if i select bootstrap now you can see here is the element that is this empty div and inside this empty div we have this alert okay and if i close this alert then its parent div is still here okay so this solves the problem okay so by adding addition, additional div into the empty message component we can fix this alert error okay and that's it from this lecture let's give this lecture a try from your end as well and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe